Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to Share Trek Curiosity. I'm Tom, and I'm so excited to kick off the year with all of you with what I think is a pretty cool idea for a New Year's resolution. And I'm Jean Jane. Happy New Year, Tom. Let's hear what you got. So instead of the usual resolutions like hitting the gym or finally cleaning out that closet, how about we commit to something a little more future-proof? How about we all resolve to really get a handle on this whole AI thing? Because let's be honest, it's not going anywhere. I like where you're going with this. Right. This isn't just for the techies. This is for everyone. Whether you're just starting out, cruising through your career, or enjoying a well-deserved retirement, AI is going to touch all our lives in some way. Absolutely. And there's this great book that actually breaks it all down, Thriving in the AI Age, Essential Skills for Success. It's been super helpful for me. Oh, that's the one you were telling me about. Okay. So what's the big takeaway? What do we absolutely need to know to thrive in this brave new world? Well, the book starts with the younger generation, those folks between 15 and 20 who are just starting to figure out their path. It really emphasizes the importance of building a strong foundation, you know, setting themselves up for success. Makes sense. What does that look like, practically speaking? It's a mix of technical skills and surprisingly soft skills. Okay, break that down for me. What kind of technical skills are we talking about? Well, STEM fields are going to be huge, particularly anything related to coding. Python and Java are mentioned specifically. Ah, uh, the languages of the future. Right. But you said soft skills too. Why are those so important? Because while AI is amazing at handling routine tasks and processing information, it's not so great at things like creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, and emotional intelligence. Uh, so it's not just about being able to code, it's about being able to think for yourself and work effectively with others. Exactly. Those are the skills that will set you apart in a world where AI is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. So for all the young people out there listening, you don't need to become a coding whiz overnight but having a solid grasp of these skills is definitely a good move. And it's not just about formal education. The book talks about the importance of being part of the tech community, attending hackathons, and constantly learning and experimenting. So it's about staying curious and being willing to dive into new things. Exactly. And that leads to another really important point. Lifelong learning AI is constantly evolving. So the ability to adapt and pick up new skills is gonna be crucial, not just for young people, but for all of us. Okay, so we've got the foundation laid for the younger generation. But what about those of us who are a little further along in our careers? Let's say those between 30 and 50. Well, the book has some great advice for this group as well, and it all starts with understanding how AI is going to impact your specific industry. Because AI isn't just about robots and self-driving cars, right? It's changing everything from healthcare to finance to education. Exactly. So the first step is to figure out how AI is already being used in your field and how it's likely to evolve in the coming years. So do your research, basically. Right. And once you have a sense of the trends, you can start thinking about how to upskill or even reskill to stay relevant. Okay, that makes sense. But for someone who's been in the same career for a while, the idea of upskilling can be a bit daunting. Where do you even start? Well, there are tons of online platforms like Coursera edX and Udacity that offer courses on everything from AI fundamentals to specific applications in different industries. So you don't necessarily need to go back to school for a whole new degree. Yeah. You can pick and choose courses based on your interests and needs. Exactly. It's all about making learning accessible and flexible. I like it. So we've got young people building a foundation in AI and mid-career folks upskilling to stay ahead of the curve. Where do things go from there? That's where things get really interesting because once you have a grasp of the technology and how it can be applied, you start thinking about how to work with AI, not against it. And that's where the real magic happens. It's about seeing the potential for AI to augment your skills to make you even better at what you do. Okay, I'm intrigued. Can you give me an example? Sure. Let's say you're a project manager. AI-powered tools can help you with things like scheduling resource allocation and even risk assessment. So instead of replacing the project manager, AI is actually helping them to be more efficient and effective. Exactly. And that frees up the project manager to focus on the things that AI can't do, like building relationships, motivating teams, and navigating complex human dynamics. That makes a lot of sense. So it's really about shifting our mindset from seeing AI as a threat 
to seeing it as a powerful tool. And that shift in mindset leads to another important point, leadership. As AI becomes more integrated into our workplaces, we're gonna need leaders who understand how to guide teams through this transition. Leaders who can bridge the gap between the humans and the machines, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. These leaders need to be comfortable with the technology, but they also need to be able to communicate effectively, foster collaboration, and address the ethical considerations that come with AI adoption. So it's not just about technical skills. It's about having a vision for how AI can be used responsibly and ethically. And that brings us to another important point, networking. In this rapidly changing landscape, it's crucial to stay connected with others in your field, especially those who are on the cutting edge of AI. So conferences, webinars, online communities, that sort of thing. Exactly. Networking helps you stay informed, learn from others' experiences, and even explore new career paths. Let's be honest, AI is going to create a whole host of new jobs that we haven't even imagined yet. You're right, and I bet a lot of those jobs will be at the intersection of technology and those uniquely human skills we were talking about earlier. Absolutely. So for those mid-career folks out there, the key takeaway is this. Embrace lifelong learning, stay connected, and be open to new possibilities. Because the AI age is all about adaptability and innovation. Okay, so we've talked about young people building a foundation, mid-career professionals upskilling and adapting, and the importance of leadership and networking throughout this process. But what about those who are entering retirement or already enjoying it? How does this all apply to them? Well, it's interesting because a lot of people think of retirement as a time to disconnect from the world and just relax. Yeah, put your feet up, enjoy the fruits of your labor. But this book actually challenges that notion. It suggests that AI can be a powerful tool for retirees to stay engaged, learn new things, and even contribute to society in meaningful ways. I like that. It's about reimagining retirement, not as an ending, but as a new beginning. Exactly. And AI can be a great facilitator for that. For example, the book talks about AI-powered learning platforms that can help retirees pick up new skills or hobbies. So if you've always wanted to learn a new language or maybe try your hand at painting, there's an AI app for that. Exactly. These platforms can provide personalized lessons, feedback, and even connect you with other learners. It's like having a personal tutor and a global community right at your fingertips. And it's not just about individual learning. AI can also help retirees. Well, there are these incredible AI-powered tools that can help people write their memoirs or even create other creative projects. It's like having a personal biographer. In a way, yes. These tools can help you organize your thoughts, find the right words, and even suggest different ways to tell your story. That's amazing. And I bet it would be a great way for retirees to connect with younger generations and share their wisdom. Absolutely. It's about preserving those life experiences and passing them on. I love that. But what about the more practical aspects of retirement, like managing your finances? AI-powered tools can help retirees understand how emerging technologies are impacting different industries and make more informed choices about their investments. So it's about staying ahead of the curve even in retirement. Exactly. And it's not just about personal gain. Retirees have so much experience and knowledge to share. They can mentor younger generations entering the AI-powered workforce, providing guidance perspective, and even advocating for ethical AI use. It's a beautiful way to come full circle, using their experience to shape the future. So AI can actually enhance their quality of life and free up time for them to pursue their passions. Exactly. It's about using AI to empower us at every stage of life. So let's do a quick recap to make sure everyone has the key takeaways. Sounds good. Okay, so first up, we talked about the importance of building a strong foundation for young people, those between 15 and 20. That's right. It's all about understanding the basics of AI, prioritizing STEM skills like coding, and nurturing those essential human skills like creativity, problem solving, and emotional intelligence. And let's not forget lifelong learning. Staying curious, experimenting with new technologies, and being a part of the evolving tech landscape is key for this generation. Absolutely. Now, for those in the midst of their careers between 30 and 50, it's all about adapting to stay relevant. That means upskilling through online platforms, yeah. learning how AI can optimize their current roles, and developing a strategic mindset for working with AI, not against it. Stepping into leadership roles, guiding teams through AI adoption, and considering the ethical implications are all crucial as well. And then, for those entering or enjoying retirement, those 60 and above, it's about reimagining this phase of life. 
It's about seeing AI not as something to fear, but as a tool for personal growth, staying connected, and even contributing to society in new ways. Using AI for learning new skills, exploring creative outlets, connecting with communities, managing finances, wisely mentoring younger generations, and even simplifying daily life, it's pretty remarkable. It really shows that no matter where you are in life, there are ways to thrive in the AI age. This whole conversation has been so inspiring. It's easy to get caught up in the fear and uncertainty surrounding AI, but this book really paints a picture of possibility. I think that's the biggest takeaway for me. It's not about being intimidated by AI. It's about recognizing its potential to empower us at every stage of life. So well said. And with the right mindset and skills, we can all navigate this new era and use AI to create a better future for ourselves and for the world. Couldn't agree more. Well, this has been an incredible start to the new year. I feel like we've all leveled up our understanding of AI and what it means for our lives. Me too. It's been a pleasure diving into this topic with you. Likewise. And to all our listeners out there, we hope you found this discussion insightful and inspiring. If you enjoy this conversation and want to hear more, please like this episode and subscribe to Shared Correct Curiosity. We'll be back next week with another new topic to explore. Until then, stay curious. And keep exploring. Keep exploring.